we know how keen you've been to talk to your bank on a Saturday morning. So we'd like to remind you that over 400 of Barclays' biggest branches have finally opened their doors. Mr. Wright, isn't it? Nice of you to drop in. We'll listen to any of your money problems, advise you on your savings, and try to lend more than just a sympathetic ear. On Saturdays, how many other banks can say the same? Barclays. You can bank on us for new ideas. So it's McEnroe to serve for the game. He serves wide. Connors left hand. Connors to full stretch somehow. Gets there and tips it back. McEnroe coming in. Connors it might be the lean beef in bird's eyes, best of British beef stew and dumpling. It might even be the light fluffy dumpling. McEnroe throws himself to the net. Just reaches it on the back end with a tremendous drop volley. Connors turns and slips. But whatever it is. It certainly brings out the best in the British. Game to McEnroe. Best of British range. 22 traditional dishes from Bird's Eye. I remember that night in the flix with me date. We was watching our Rudy. Bill thought he was great. Romance, she was speaking. But I wasn't, mate. What a lovely Saturday night. So I thought, stretch me legs and give it a rest. Hello, Jim. You fancy a pint of best, you thirsty, mate. All right, Bo Jest. Blimey, what an oasis. Courage best, should be right. Have this name read up in light. Here, you better go. Oh, we could have cried. Yeah, barrel's nearly closing time. What a lovely Saturday night. Remember a pint of best. Courage do. Australia, we really know how to look after the shearers. G'day, you're really nice people in this pub. You don't fancy a pint of Foster's. They'll make you a nice mug of coffee. It's truth, some barbecue this is. The throat's dry and the drain pipe in a drought. Not a drop of the golden neck oil to be found. Who's Barbie is it anyway, Apes? Some girl called Deb. Ah, oh, ripper. Looks like we've just struck liquid gold. Sorry, mate. Looks like I'll have to wash up and empty. But I'll wait till this bloke's changed the dirty water. Foster's. The Australian for lager. Hey, this reminds me of the days we spent chasing packs of wild dingoes through the scrub. Six hours in the saddle without a drink. Wouldn't have been possible without the ace drop of Foster's at the end of it. I'm glad to see that now you've got Foster's draft over here, you're taking an interest in other Phoenix and Mozzie activities. But it won't take long to catch that pack of funny looking dingoes. Foster's, the Australian for Larka. G'day. You know, I can't help thinking of Oz and that dry, thirsty outback. We'd sit there month after month, praying for rain. And when the drought finally broke, we had our own special way of celebrating, with a drop or two of the amber nectar. And now Foster's draft is here, you too can celebrate. Now that the drought's finally broken, <laughs> good. Foster's, the Australian for lager. G'day. When they invited me along to this turnout, I took the precaution of bringing enough of the amber nectar to go around. Looks like I did the right thing too, because that stuff looks to be about as popular as a rattlesnake and a lucky dip. It's true. Must be worse than I thought. Foster's, the Australian for Larka.
One night, I sneaked in from the chippy, trying to escape Gran's cardboard chicken. Out of sheer desperation, I grabbed a jar of thick, creamy Hellman's. Ooh, it was fab. Never again would chicken and chips out of a newspaper taste like we'd eaten the newspaper. Hellman's, don't save it for the summer. One night, I sneaked in from the chippy, trying to escape Gran's cardboard chicken. Out of sheer desperation, I grabbed a jar of thick, creamy Hellman's. Ooh, it was fab. Never again would chicken and chips out of a newspaper taste like we'd eaten the newspaper. Hellman's, don't save it for the summer. I'll never forget the Christmas we won a turkey in the raffle. It was July before we had to feed the cat again. Luckily, Santa left me a jar of thick, creamy Hellman's. Ooh, best Christmas ever. Gran said if Dad ate any more turkey, he'd end up looking like one. <laughs> Hellman's, don't save it for the summer. The lads from the allotment were winning 5 0 when I nicked the ball. It was one of Dad's cabbages. Quickly, I chopped it up and mixed it with some lovely, creamy Hellman's. Ooh, real coleslaw. I can never understand lads playing with the food. Hellman's, don't save it for the summer. When I was a lad, mother was a dreary cook. Her string beans tasted of real string. Then one day, she ran off with the Coleman's umper. Left with a wedge of rubber and one of mother's doorsteps, I was lucky to spot a forgotten jar of Hellman's. <laughs> Quickly, I mixed them up, and bingo, it was stupendous. I spread almonds on her carpet burgers. They were magic, and mixed with tuna, thick, creamy almonds transformed the limpest cloth lettuce. Never again would her humble spud taste like it had a woolly on a rich jacket. Almonds, don't save it for the salad. In mother's absence, hunger drove me to the four distant corners of the fridge where I discovered a ham frisbee. With my trusty jar of delicious creamy Hellman's and a trick I learnt with an egg, <laughs> I fast became expert in the art of the sarnie. Ooh, magic. Hellman's, don't save it for the summer. Anything could happen tonight. Got me L.A. shirt and my disco trousers all topped off with an Elvis quiff. The night is young and I smell like a surfer. Want some mates to go out with. Got a mate called Brown and a mate called Jones. We're off to meet a mate called Smith. John Smith's great new lager with a bit of Yorkshire bite. Beautiful. I could meet a bird by the name of Lulu. Moves like a Zulu on a hot tin plate. She might seem keen and dance like a dream, but nothing comes between me and me mate. For a great little mover that goes down smoother, get yourself a mate called Smith. Hey, you coming out to be famous then, Michael? No, I'd rather finish my money, man. Well, you're coming, or what? There's only one mint with a creamy flavour that's much too good to hurry. What's the matter with him back there? Who's going to discover us and I don't like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Murray mints. The too good to hurry mints. Could you imagine life without newspapers? Wouldn't you miss the crossword and page three? 
What's on at the cinema, the share prices, the race cards, the cartoons, the stars, the sport, the pools, and the news, of course, in depth and in detail. Oh, and there's one other nice thing about a newspaper, too. Now, what was it? Pick up the news on a portable by a newspaper. Here. In a minute. Oh, it is a lovely day here, isn't it? The new podcast Concord. You're about to witness a rather unusual demonstration. No, it's not those neat stripes that are unusual. It's not that rear grass box, though that's handy. But watch this. Just when you think the grass box is full, hey, presto, it's half empty. The time you save makes the lawn seem half the size. Well, I never did. No, nor did he. Until he got that new Concord. Podcast Concord. For a perfect lawn, it's a lot less bother than a hover. Boy, you're nicking my beer. seldom parted. Oi! Oi! You're nicking my beer. Gold-label lager, a seldom party. Oi! Oi! You're nicking my beer. Gold-label lager, a seldom party. Oi! Oi! You're nicking my beer. Gold-label lager, a seldom party. Oi!
Without any reply, but show 'em Kellogg's brand flakes. That's a different matter. They'll all reply. They're tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. They're very tasty. Would you care for yogurt? The green figs are nice. The continental breakfast ain't bad. But show 'em Kellogg's brand flakes. That's a different matter. They'll all reply. They're tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. Kellogg's brand flakes. You know this could catch on. We're not going to tell you what's special about the baking powder in Granny Smith's cake mix. That's our little secret. But we can promise that whatever you add to it, you'll never bake a lighter cake than Granny's. Stanley Gimbal had a passion for orange. Everything he owned had to be orange. Orange clothes. Orange car, orange house. Unfortunately, Stanley was totally colour blind. However, his taste buds were perfect, and only one fizzy drink was orange enough. The whole fruit in Tango was unmistakable. One thing did bother him, though. Why did they put it in a turquoise can? Tango, unmistakably orange. Face it, Hugh. We're lost. Better take a shifty at the map. The map, Hugh, this is no time for a drink. This is the only map I've ever needed, Duncan. Canada Dry. This tonic water's always a step in the right direction. I think, uh, that way. How do you do it? Well, you know where you are with Canada Dry. I hope you remembered to back a towel. <laughs> Huh. Canada Dry. Are you on the map? Can't see a thing in this cloud, Hugh. Better get the map out. The map, Hugh? This is no time for a tipple. This is the only map I've ever needed, Duncan. Canada Dry. Here's one ginger ale that always finds the spot. Better let some air out and uh, smarten yourself up, huh? How do you do it? Well, you know where you are with Canada Dry. Table for two, please. Canada Dry. Are you on the map? Whipping is always having the civilized world's favorite tonic handy, just in case anyone drops in. Schwepping, as seen on TV. I walked about a bit on my own Oh, no. I strolled around without anyone else. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high or vales and hills. Only Heineken can do this because it refreshes the poets other beers cannot reach.
Alethorpe Working Men's Club have reached darts and snooker finals. Competition looks stiff this year. So Bill Kirby, captain of Alethorpe, has decided to field a couple of ringers. That's yours, that's yours. I don't place them, I play darts. Looks like they're ready. Two reds, that's a good start. And that's not bad either. All Ray needs is a bull. All Cliff needs is a pink. Oh. Oh, and that's only up for Ailton. And when it's time to celebrate, it's as well that Bill's a bit more expert on his pints than he is on his players. He appreciates a brew with fine head and good body. He's only happy when he's holding trophy. <laughs> trophy best, head and body above the rest. Bill Holmes, All England champion, is up against current Pennine title holder, Jack Thompson. Living legends on Dommy Circuit, these two. And they're off. Front room through first bend, and second, Note in it round column, it's a very tight match, this one. Oh, grand formation play, crowd will appreciate that. Jack's first set up. Oh, he's played an ace. Over to Bill. And he's replied with a bunch of croissants, well done, lad. But Jack's away again, and he's drawn himself a fine control. Oh. Grand stuff. Back to Bill. Oh, he's pulled off a ball and skittled me. Jack's under pressure. But wait up. Oh, Bill's dummies have been left standing. Jack's away now. And... Oh, Peacock, what a finale. Now, title's won. Jack Charles is as expert on tippling as he is on toppling. He likes a brew with fine head and good body. Like any great champion, he's only happy when he's holding trophy. Trophy best, head and body above the rest. If we said we thought Carlsberg could put hairs on your chest, it would be somewhat unbelievable. If we said Carlsberg could make you more attractive to women, it would be claiming slightly too much. If, however, we said we believed Carlsberg was the best lager in the world, it would be true. Well, probably. Rescued by the Russians. And just in time for dinner, sir. I don't know about Russia, Captain, but after dinner, my wife and I generally enjoy a glass of port. Cockburns. Not quite. It's Coburns, actually. No, we don't pronounce the C-K. Coburns. So that is a clue? No, that's a clock. So. Sock. Coburn's Special Reserve. A very fine bottle of port. So I come from Moscow. Yes, I think you probably do. This is a warning to people with nice, shiny, plastic baths. You'll scratch the shine off if you keep on using a cream cleaner. To prove our point, we're going to clean one of these plastic lenses with the most popular cream cleaner, and the other with a solution of flash. Whatever happens to these plastic lenses will eventually happen to the surface of your plastic bath. Hmm. So much for using cream cleaners on plastic. Now you can see why the people who made your plastic bath recommend Flash. The all-shine, no-scratch cleaner.
Here's why a Savlon Dry commercial is much quicker than a sticking plaster commercial. Savlon Dry is faster than a plaster. Chew! 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 Limsip. Why suffer when you've got a cold? This straight grain briar took root in the mountains of the Mediterranean a hundred years ago. After spending a further three years in a seasoning room and many hours in the hands of a craftsman, it is only now ready for smoking. It could cost you well over 50 pounds. Mellow Virginia, which is neither harsh nor mild, but cool and satisfying, has received similar consideration, but fortunately costs rather less to buy. When you first eat a Smith Square Crisp, you're sure of a big surprise. The crispy, crunchy flavor isn't easy to explain. It sort of smacks you in the mouth, but it's a pleasure, not a pain. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. weird. Smith Square Crisps. Eating is believing. Kenny, long time. Tree bore imperial mints are hard on the outside. On your bike. Ken? But when it comes to the crunch, they're soft on the inside. Tree bore imperials, mint and spearmint. Do you think it's all right to leave George there on his own? Oh, yes. But aren't you afraid he might find your chocolate orange? No, I think it's quite safe. Terry's famous chocolate orange. Smooth milk chocolate with real oil of orange. How safe is yours? Well, what do you reckon to these newfangled Mentos chewy mints? Be honest now, speak their minds. Well, they are chewy, Mr. Rockard. And, and strong enough. Dad, Dad, why don't we make a chewy mint? Chewy mint? Chewy mint? Has they all gone soft? Mints are meant to be like this. <laughs> Rockard! Mentos mints. By gum, they're chewy. <laughs> of gas central heating where you can't get gas. Ring 01 200 0200. Although this is only one of Creta's oven and hob combinations, it's arguably the most advanced available. The ceramic hob gives you precise control from low simmering to fast heating. It's also impact resistant. The oven's accurate microelectronic timer serves the hob, the generous top oven and grill, and the massive circular oven big enough to take a 28-pound turkey. Sounds complicated, but as you can see, Creda have made it foolproof. Creda. Brilliant, but simple. I left the house with few regrets, for it was a cold place, though furnished pleasantly enough, its warmth and cheer now were gone.
I returned without enthusiasm, but I was happily surprised, for they had bought new gas fires. Not just economical and efficient, they pleased my critical eye. One even had real living flames, painting pictures as no mere artist could. As the lady of the house later wrote to me, get a new gas fire and you will not know the old place. You wouldn't have to go through this performance half so often if you changed to thorn EMI double life light bulbs. Because our double life lasts twice as long as an ordinary light bulb. Oi, where's the bulb? I'll get one of the new ones. Thorn EMI double life light bulbs. Double the life, but not double the cost. The new Philips steam iron has so many unexpected features, it almost makes ironing a pleasure. Oh, there we are, dear. Right, I'm off. Oh, shall I just run the iron over your... Uh, no, no, I'm late already. Bye-bye, oh, dear. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Oh, Ethel. The new Philips steam iron. It almost makes ironing bearable. Not surprisingly, one of the world's most sophisticated electronic washing machines is a Creda. Microprocessors make the best possible use of temperature, wash times and other variables. Each of its nine wash programs corresponds exactly with the International Textile Care Labeling Code, so whatever you're washing, it's washed correctly. As you can see, Creda have made washing foolproof. Creda. Brilliant, but simple. Now, let's have a little chat about that disappointing incident yesterday, shall we? Sit down, lad. First, he mistook the wife's new Timbrel S carpet for a sheep. Second, he proceeded to herd them along to be dipped. The carpet subsequently recovered from its ordeal. Not so the wife. <laughs> Ten biscuits, dot from pay. Dismissed. Timbrel S. For the coziest carpets around, bound on. Here in the upper reaches of the Amazon, we're trying to make contact with the lost Inca tribe, the Karakarori. To find out just how advanced their civilization is, we're leaving behind artifacts of our own culture. Frozen pizza, roller skates, and of course, the Philips 2022 video recorder, complete with color television. What will they make of them? Well, here we are. Remarkably, they do seem to have mastered the Philips video recorder. The picture search, the freeze frame, and the eight-hour tape. Though they haven't quite grasped the idea of the roller skate, or indeed, of the frozen pizza. <laughs> the Philips video 2022. Easier to understand than frozen pizza. Haro, me and my husband, Awali, want to show you this oriental bamboo steamer. You can only buy it on television. So please to get pen and paper ready to light down a glass at the end of advert. No, you worry. Go get food. Silly idiot. We put one English meal of fish, potatoes and vegetables, and a spotted dick into steamer, and one into ordinary saucepans. Notice, fish is frozen, slit from deep fleece. Go, oh, blast monkeys. If you boil food, you boil vitamins away and food soggy. 
If you steam food, you seal in vitamins. And food very tasty. Damn clever, the Chinese. Huh? Wally been at cooking sake again. You can even steam all the leftovers and they come out fresh and tasty. Or you can steam stale old bread and it come out fresh like a new baked bread. Now, look at main meals. Tender fish, tasty desserts, crispy vegetables, rip smacking tasty. Boil food look like old school dinner. Shut up, buddy. And look at other meals you can prepare with a steamer. Delicious corn on cob, succulent prawns, mouth-watering chicken. Now, look at the special offer from a WL Housewares. You can get all three baskets and lid for just £9.99 with a free recipe booklet and wooden spatula. Leave it alone, worry. To get your Oriental Bamboo Steamer, use your Access or Visa card by ringing 01200-0200 now. Or send a check made out to Steamer Offer to Admail 1, London, NW1, 3PY. Roger. Yes? You're not going to use that wallpaper paste right now, are you? I'm going to use it right now. But you might get lumps. I've got lumps. You've got lumps? No, there's a surprise. If you'd used new polycell liquid paste, there's no way you could have got lumps because it's a liquid. You use it straight away so there's no hanging about for a quarter of an hour like with most packet paste. Get liquid paste and you won't get lumps, Roger. I won't get lumps. You won't get lumps. I won't get lumps. New polycell liquid paste. Don't be a bodger. Roger, do it right. Shades of Pale, fresh from Dulux. Boy, gum, I can't watch it any longer. Hey, give it here. Why, what's wrong? Well, you should be using Polycell for a start. You want Poly Ripple for that job? It's more flexible, so cracks stay covered, and it's got a nice, smooth, ripple finish, so you can wash it. Makes the whole room look beautiful. Uh, like another cup? No, thanks. Wife's in cookbook making dinner. Polly's help. Don't budge it. Do it right. Strange life he had, our Albert, as a postman in Legoland town. The only thing he was sure of were at letters he had to take round. Cos Monday, when he saw Rose Street and house number 24, Tuesday it was somewhere in Thorn Street, and they had to have a good look for door. Well, what with comings and goings, for which he were only paid a few bob, our Albert chucked it, turned speed cop, which he finds a much better job. Collect Legoland town is like living in your own town. Now, the continuing saga of Cindy in Dollhouse, the story so far. The local Gymkhana is in full swing when dainty but daring Cindy takes a bad fall. Later, she discovers her saddle girth had been cut. While convalescing, she receives a mysterious invitation to dinner. Was it from the unknown saddle snipper? Was her life in danger? Meanwhile, should she wear the purple evening dress or go cash? Don't miss the next gripping adventure of Cindy in Dollhouse.
This is the most aerodynamic production car in the world, the new Audi 100. If it had the same drag factor as the average car, it would register 0.43, which would feel something like this. But the new Audi 100 actually has a drag factor of only 0.30. The less a car has holding it back, the less fuel it needs to drive it forward. The RD100, the most aerodynamic production car in the world. The luxury car that does not evolve is the luxury car that will not survive. a more intelligent, a more efficient, a more responsive breed of car. The new generation BMW 7 Series. The luxury car is dead. Long live the luxury car. Having trouble getting started in the mornings? Get a new quick start heavy duty battery fitted free at QuickFit. only three quarters of an hour from London. Some because companies that move here seem to grow. Some because it's a great place to live and work. Me? I moved here because I like the fishing. Wouldn't it be nice if all cities were like Milton Keynes? There came a time when natural resources became so precious that men were forced to seek them in alien environments. From all over Earth, men and materials were gathered, machines the like of which had never been seen before. This mighty endeavor required a vast investment and a leap of technology as great as that which placed the first men on the moon. But this is no vision of the future. For this is Shell, at work today in the North Sea, recovering Britain's oil and natural gas. A giant undersea pipeline laid by Shell will soon be bringing ashore fully 12% of Britain's gas. While last year, the Brent field alone produced 12% of our country's oil. You can be sure of Shell. better place to make the best of your business. Oh, oh, late again. That new town my firm's moved to, 50 miles as the crow flies. And believe me, I have to. 
here's another late come up. 150 miles, boy. Oh, 150 flaming miles. All business development areas have got one thing in common. They're all not in London. All except the London Docklands. Mm, I walked here. I didn't get where I am today by being somewhere else. The London Docklands Development Corporation. Why move to the middle of nowhere when you can move to the middle of London? Joe and Eric are both plumbers, so they both spend a lot of time away from the office. But Joe here has a British Telecom radio pager, so he can be contacted immediately. That'll be his office now. All he has to do is pick up the phone. And as for Eric, well, his office may find a way to get in touch with him too. Eventually. With a British Telecom radio pager, you're never out of touch. Who's it this time? Not Sydney. Sydney who? Not Sydney who? Sydney, Australia. They moved from there. Thank God for that. Moved to Melbourne. A phone call to Australia, dialed direct on your own phone, has now gone down from £3.71 to £2.97 for three minutes. Bye, love. See you soon, eh? So some people feel they can phone more often. He's looking forward to his granny going over there to see him. Pay for that as well, are we? It doesn't cost much to keep in touch. From August the 26th, a rather special airline flies direct to the South Pacific from London. An airline in American magazine is voted best airline two years running, but it's not American. An airline that came top in a British survey on business travel, but it's not British. An airline that serves all meals on China, but is not from Far East. An airline that serves all major cities in Australia and New Zealand, but it's not Australian. An airline that moved one travel writer to describe it as the Ritz of the Skies. Air New Zealand. See tomorrow's Daily Mail and see how it knocks all other services to New Zealand into a cocked hat. Mail on Sunday is the first new national Sunday paper for 21 years, so it's not surprising it's selling out fast. If you missed your copy on Sunday, order it tomorrow. Or buy a greyhound. The Mail on Sunday. 
It's what Sunday's been missing. John D. Wood, Savills, Hampton and Sons, Winkworth, Aylesford, Farrah Steedon Glynn, Whitman Porter, Jackson Stops and Staff, Cluttons, Bruce, Olcott and Hayward, Robert Irving and Burns, John Hollingsworth. To sell their houses, London estate agents use one Sunday paper more than any other. The Observer, The Observer, The Observer. That's where the houses go. Things disappear when you advertise in the standard. Hello, I'm phoning about the house. The car. The boat. The duck. The Porsche. Sorry, it's just gone. It's uh, about the house. I'm afraid we've just sold it to a property developer. I'm interested in the typist vacancy. I'm ringing about the electric train. You just missed it. Um, are there any seats left on the Marbella flight? If you'd like something to disappear, just fill in the coupon in the standard or go to a newsagent where you see this sign. Or ring. Three, five, three, five, oh, oh, oh. In 1943, the Duke of Windsor wrote to his brother, King George VI. He attacked him for his treatment of the Duchess and himself. The King fought back. No punches were pulled. Read the Windsor letters in the war between the royals only in the mail on Sunday tomorrow. Cup of tea, dear. In a minute. Oh, it is a lovely day here, isn't it? The new podcast Concord. You're about to witness a rather unusual demonstration. No, it's not those neat stripes that are unusual. It's not that rear grass box, though that's handy. But watch this. Just when you think the grass box is full, hey, presto, it's half empty. The time you save makes the lawn seem half the size. Well, I never did. No, nor did he. Until he got that new Concorde. Concast Concord. For a perfect lawn, it's a lot less bother than a hover. need to do all that raking, you know, John. You tried telling Mary that. Well, I've got a hover mower too. If you cut the grass regularly in the summer, all those cuttings mulch into the lawn. Oh, yes, and what's regularly? Two or three times a week. Two or three times a week? I'd rather rake up than do that. You don't have to do all that raking, John. Don't you start. That's what I told him. We all mow two or three times a week. Oh? What kind of a hover mower have you got? Who said anything about a hover mower? The Concast Concord. Wet grass or dry, short grass or long, for a perfect lawn, it's a lot less bother than a hover. Fancy a quick one, then? Oh, thanks. I'd like a quick one. <laughs> Here we are, then. Oh, cheers. Oh! In 1957, Rank Xerox introduced the first copier that could print on plain paper. At the time, it was an astonishing concept. An idea that was to be improved, polished, and perfected. This is the Xerox 9500. It can deliver 120 prints a minute, print on both sides of the paper, and produce complete finished documents, all at the touch of a button. Yet its print quality is so good, it can be thought of and used as an offset litho printer. It is the state of the art. Rank Xerox. Still first. If you're lucky enough to receive numbers in the latest Reader's Digest prize draw, send them back right away. You could win the first prize of £40,000 or any of over 1,800 other prizes. But if you don't enter, you can't win. So hurry. Sweet talking guys, talking sweet kind of lies. Don't you be
rock and roll no more. Jaggedy Yak! Jaggedy Yak! Jaggedy Yak! Jaggedy Yak! When I'm calling you I will answer to If an eggshell is all that stands between you and the goodness you need to go walkies, speak to it kindly and just say very firmly, Walkies! <laughs> Eggs are smashing. Go smash an egg. Wom bom a loo bom a la bom bom to the fruit on fruit 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 Wom bom a loo bom a la bom bom. May I present myself and my mates? This is Jim and this is Joe, and we're off to say hello to Neanderthals down from Cardiff. They can't have had their tea, someone's eating my knee and using my hip to practice with. If I manage to survive till half past five, can't wait to see my mate called Smith. John Smith's great new lager with that bit of Yorkshire bite. Beautiful. Well, I pass the ball to Jim, that's the last we'll see of him. Now my way is blocked by a wall called Bruce. It's hard to sell a dummy with a bloke around your tummy. Blow the whistle, ref. It's time for a truce. Full of brew just right with a bit of Yorkshire bite. Get yourself a mate called Smith. 